Hey yo, just before this video starts, I need a disclaimer just to say that this video is for educational purposes, documentary purposes, and news purposes, and mainly for education. So YouTube, don't mess my video up. Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist, and I'm in Amsterdam right now, and I wanna go through my favorite coffee shops in all of Amsterdam and the Netherlands. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna go through my top three and actually go to them, show you why I really like them. And I'm gonna have a list at the end of like some honorable mentions that you definitely need to check out if you're just here in general. So uh, look, let's head to my first favorite coffee shop. Okay, I think most people know what's coming first, so I'm not gonna spend crazy long on this place because I've made a lot of videos here recently, but has to be Green Place and the first place that we go to. Straight out of the train station, takes like five minutes to get here and it is an amazing menu. But it's more amazing for people who really want to get exclusives. They don't really care about how much money they're paying and they only want to get like the best of the best Cali import. I'm gonna go through some places with some Dutch bud, don't worry. But for now, let's have a look inside the original Green Place, see what's on the menu today. They do also have a second location, so I'll go to that later on in the day and compare the menu because they do sometimes have a bit of a different menu. But right now, let's have a little look inside here and see what they got today. I'm just gonna get out. <laughs> oh God, what am I doing? All right, so this is what we've got to work with today. But first thing that takes my fancy is the black sushi jar. There was a lot of stuff here. So what I've ended up going for is the black sushi jar. And then all the way over here, they had a Nishi donut. Oh God, that was 120 euros. I just paid for that. <laughs> well, Let's, <laughs> let's see if it's any good. Oh my God, it is so much colder here than I thought it was gonna be, I am freezing. But I was in Green Place for about 10 minutes and I spent 310 euros. <laughs> it's a very easy place to spend a lot of money, but you do get what you pay for. There's nowhere else in the city that has the black Zushi right now in the sample jars from Tenko. They had so many fresh new ones that you know, it, the menu's so long. I mean, you, you see the menu, it's, it's massive. There's a reason why it's a favorite place of mine, but obviously it's not gonna be a place that you'll be going to if you're coming here on a budget. If you wanna try and find the best bud in the city for under, you know, 13 euros a gram, 14 euros a gram, that's not the place for you because it's not, <laughs> it's not in your budget, you know? However, if you're coming out here to spend, if you wanna come out here to, uh, you know, get the craziest of bits that you'll never see anywhere else, then it is the spot to go to. Let's head to my next favorite shop, a little bit further south of the city. Oh yeah, almost forgot to say, Black Zushi, absolutely fire. Definitely still needs a little bit of dialing in, because you can just tell from the burn that it's not all the way there. It's like, it's like 95% burning good, which is really good, but you know what Tenko is potential to be able to do. Even at that, it was so lovely on the flavor that it was better than the blue sushi for me. So really, really lovely. And I got one of those Nishi donuts, which I've never even seen before. 1.5 G of Nishi and like a 0.5 of extract. Damn, the exhaust on that. And I'm gonna try that one very soon, maybe after we come out of our next place. So um, yeah, still walking there right now. So you head like 20 minutes down from the station and you come to a family first coffee shop. This has been one of my favorites for a very long time, but it kind of changes the reason why it's my favorite. It was a kind of time where I wasn't really coming here as much as I really should have, to be honest. Back in the day, it was kind of my favorite for a different reason to what it is now. Because back when I used to come here, it was really, really good for the Cali bits. And before I go any further, I have to clarify, their Cali bits are still really, really good right now. But compared to some of the other stuff they do, it's not the best thing on the menu anymore. And to be honest, I've always liked their Dutch options, but recently maybe not as many crazy Dutch options as there used to be. But like I said, there's still great Cali and there's still great Dutch there. But the thing these guys kill it on the most right now is the extract. Like if you're looking for like crazy, crazy hash or like the craziest like static sift you've ever seen in your life, you'll probably end up seeing that at Family First. Like it is a crazy place for that. While at the same time, having some nice Cali options, having some nice Dutch options, it is a really good all round place for a lot of stuff. So let's have a little look at what's on the menu today and maybe grab something and see what it is. I'm hoping they have some nice Cali. I'm hoping they have some nice Dutch. Maybe they have some nice static. I'm probably more inclined to get a nice Dutch one from here for a reasonable price because that's what I've also known them for. So, um, yeah, let's have a look at what they got. Oh, you're bruv, so the menu's massive here. This is obviously what I'd be coming here for these days. But, damn, look at the Dutch menu. And then the candy menu as well. Damn. Oh, they got the draft cuisine. Ooh. 
<laughs> Chilling, man. How are you? Um, what are you suggesting out of the out of the Dutch menu? Yeah. Is there anything crazy that I should have a look at? I did try the Ozark, yeah, yeah. I've heard of Ooh, yeah, that looks nice. It smells nice. I think I'll go for this one to keep on. Sweet. Just one gram. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Dutch menu in there, looking great today. Cali menu also looking great, and they had some really nice hashes. I think I'm gonna go back there and make a YouTube short on the 35 for a G. Uh, I forget what actual type of hash it was because it wasn't rosin, it wasn't steaks. Just to see if that, I'm gonna have to have a look because I'm not a big hash guy. I don't know too much about hash. Um, all I do know is when it smokes good. Uh, <laughs> so a short will come soon from there it'll probably actually be up before this video is out or maybe it won't maybe it'll be the same same day i don't know i'm really fucking stoned right now I'm very lit from drinking all of this coffee i've been drinking lots of coffee in these coffee shops they have some amazing coffee youtube please don't mess my video up please this is the other green place location it's way closer to the train station as well i mean it's kind of weird both of them are really close to the train station but this one's even closer and it's on like the really iconic coffee shop strip but they do sometimes have a slightly different menu, so let's have a little look. All right, so they do have a couple unique ones here. The D-piece ones right at the bottom, these aren't in the other green place. Oh yeah, and I think these hash options are completely different. All right, so I'm trying this Nishi Donut right now, and I'm in a little bit of a state of regret with it because everyone after I bought it started telling me that the, uh, the black sushi is better because there's black sushi donut as well that I could have got. Um, but I didn't get it because I got the, the jar of it. Um, but it's still really nice, smoking beautiful tasting beautiful and um yeah i can't really complain too much about it to be honest next up coming outside of amsterdam in rotterdam this is the spot where i'd be going this is probably one of the only places in rotterdam where i would want to get bud myself there are some other places outside of amsterdam which i'll talk about in a bit which definitely would be on my list of places to hit up but the reason i specifically go to this one is because i explained this in a recent video is that they started putting cali on the menu and there isn't really that much of a scene of people buying it here so they have to sell it for about two three euros cheaper than what they sell it in amsterdam for and a lot of people say that they come to rotterdam to have a cheaper experience and a lot of people say that they want it to be better and cheaper but that doesn't normally happen most of the time but now you can kind of have that stereotypical right i stay in rotterdam instead of amsterdam i get it cheaper and i get it better and that's kind of what they've got here but let's have a little look at what they got on the menu as well and see what they got today when do you ever see a Dutch menu that is that cheap? <laughs> Damn. So Coffee Shop New York's menu is really good for Rotterdam. I actually did a Rotterdam video a while ago and I couldn't find any menus like this. Like they have really nice Cali, they have the ice hash, they have pretty much everything you could want. And the prices are really, really nice. So this to me is the best menu in Rotterdam by far, especially if you saw my Rotterdam video a while ago, there really wasn't anything coming even close to this. But obviously Rotterdam is quite far to go just to go to Coffee Shop New York. So I'm gonna go through a bunch of other shops in the Netherlands that I really like and maybe give you some other options for if you're not going to the city center of Amsterdam, because I know a lot of people don't like being in a big busy center. Now I have always said that I don't think going outside of Amsterdam gets you better. It might get you cheaper, but the bud probably won't be better. You can find stuff that's like kind of on par with Amsterdam and a little bit cheaper, but not by much, maybe by like a euro or two. But to some people that really matters. And I'm sure if you don't want to go Amsterdam, you don't want to pay those prices and you want to stay elsewhere, you're probably not going to go into the city center at all. So you may have noticed this isn't my usual setting. I'm actually in Thailand right now. I'll speak about that in a little bit, but I just want to go through some other shops that I really, really like in the Netherlands. But the ones that I just went to are my favorites, like my all time favorites, at least for right now. Number one, I would definitely say is Paradox because I think they have the best like brownie related type thing in the store. Uh, I don't think there is anywhere even coming close to their consistency. You might find some stuff that's better from elsewhere, but not consistently. So if you're looking for that side of things, you don't want to actually smoke, then Paradox is for you. If you're renting a car from the airport and you just want to go to the first place, but you actually want it to be good, I'd recommend going to Superfly. And to be honest, I would say outside of the center of Amsterdam, besides Coffee Shop New York in Rotterdam, there really isn't a lot that's really good. There are some good shops in The Hague, and I definitely recommend going to The Hague to check out some stuff, especially if you wanted to check out Coffee Shop New York because it'd make the trip way more worth it. But there's Greenhouse Secret Farmers and Creamers, both really nice places. I'd say Greenhouse Secret Farmers probably has the slightly better flower, but Creamers has a really really nice interior where you can eat food. So these are my personal favorite shops in the Netherlands. I'm sure there's some that I've missed out and I'm sure you guys are gonna let me know in the comments. But one key thing to know, especially if you've never been to Amsterdam before, 
please go and have your own experience first, especially going to Rotterdam or going to Amsterdam. Walk around first, go into random places that I haven't recommended because trust me, it will be a lot better of a trip if you, you know, enjoy the magic of it yourself because that is kind of the best part about it. And also if you go to the best places on the first day, then the rest of your trip is probably not gonna be as great, you know, because yeah. But you also don't wanna leave it to the last day because then you'll be like, why haven't I had this the whole trip? So yeah, just enjoy the magic yourself. And also I know people have been asking, why has there not been a video for three weeks? What's going on? Am I gonna release some videos in Thailand? I am gonna release some videos in Thailand. I'm gonna try and make some more full length videos out here. But the main reason there haven't been any full videos is just because it's not really very motivating to make full videos when half the time YouTube just restricts them for no reason. Um, like I don't show flower in my videos. I try to do everything by YouTube's rules, everything by the books and I could put like, you know, three days of effort into making a full length YouTube video, in, you know, in the fact that I have to like plan everything, research everything, maybe fly somewhere, film, hire a crew, and I could put all of this effort into it and then it could just get restricted and then nobody can see it. And obviously I've built up my channel to have almost 700,000 subscribers now and I want people to be able to see the videos. Like I don't wanna release a video, have it be restricted and then only 10,000 people watch it. Like what was the point in putting all that time, money and effort into that when my channel isn't even monetized, I have to make everything from sponsors. Um, so it's just not been very motivating to make full videos. The shorts on the other hand, they do super well. They don't really get restricted because they're really short people don't mind not seeing the flower as much because obviously it's so quick and you can click through straight from the short to then see the flower just above the title so it works really really well they're super easy to make and you know if, if it does get restricted or something then it doesn't really matter as much but it's just not being as motivating to make the full videos i am going to try and make at least three videos while i'm out here in thailand i'm here for another two weeks so uh that's my plan i just thought i would let you guys know and um if you're not a consistent viewer, you probably just didn't care about anything that I just said. So enjoy the rest of the videos on the channel. Hit the subscribe button. See you guys soon. Peace.